Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, we'll be viewing another low budget, obscure film. And yes, of course, it's from the past. So, I'm reviewing the one titled, The Admiral Was a Lady. Of course, it's on my, you know, to-do list. So, I just might as well go for it, of course. And, again, it's on my Nifty 50 films, folks. The Nifty 50s movie collection. It contains 50 movies from the 1950s. So, might as well, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just review another one, of course. And, of course, as always, I do have top of the plot. So, let's just get into it, shall we? Yes, sir. So, in this film, taking place after the end of World War II, you can see one of our main characters here, whom is a former individual, and, yeah, he does meet up with another person here, who was a part of the Army Air Corps, and so to speak, and this individual, Hey, let's just say they have to go on and collect their unemployment benefits, so to speak. So, of course, they do have to do something about all this. They are all members of this certain club, so to speak, which is kind of like a government program which pays unemployment American veterans, so to speak, $20 a week. For 52 weeks, so to speak. So Jimmy and his men want to prove to the government clerk that they are looking for work by placing an ad in a newspaper. Okay. Uh, and this newspaper, put them as well, you know, do some things, of course. You know, people read it, of course. And let's just say that sooner or later, they eventually come off to this woman. This woman, let's just say, will become an, in, an important character overall in the film. He should become, uh, I guess you could say, a part of the story uh, as it progresses from this point, of course. And let's just say, things do become rather hectic as time goes, of course. So anyway, those the basic summary of the story. So this film does attempt to be a bit more comedic compared to some of the other movies I reviewed. So is this a good movie? I didn't hate it. I think it was I think I didn't think it was terrible. So this film does is it's does a solid job overall. I did like it for what it is I guess. So yeah, I can't hate this movie really because I mean, it didn't piss me off or anything, I, and I did think the acting as a whole was pretty solid for what it's worth, I guess you can say. And I can say that the the story itself was, you know, pretty straightforward, which in itself doesn't necessarily be a bad thing, of course. And it's in black and white. And I did like the fact that they make good use of certain scenery, I guess you can say. I did like how the way the, you know, the actors and actresses were trying to get into the characters, so to speak. So that was, that was pretty cool, I guess you would say. So the film as a whole is, is a deep, it's a pretty solid film. I like the acting. I like the, the way this film was edited. I like the idea here. So... So this one does come off like it was trying to be more, a, a bit more light-hearted compared to maybe some of the other movies that I've reviewed. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, of course. So, yeah, there was, there's one thing I thought was pretty cool where the character of Jimmy was in, like, in his boxing ring. Uh, yeah, he had to beat up somebody or whatever. I, th I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I, I hardly see any movies that has boxing in it. Come to think of it, I mean, you'd think I would have by now, but nope. So, anyway, folks, 
Yeah, this was made way back in the 50s. Oh yeah. I definitely remember that time, folks. The 1950s was definitely an interesting time period, so to speak, I guess you would say. I remember those times because, like I said before, folks, I'm a top secret agent from Area 51, and I've been around for over 100 years. Yeah. I know I'm not as old as I look, folks, but I do remember the 1950s like it was yesterday. Oh, yeah. I can definitely say the cars were better back then. They certainly were. Okay, losing track here. All right. So, anyway, folks, to this movie, I did enjoy it. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad or anything. Let's say that it's definitely... I would say check it out. This film did come out on its... On its own disc. Yeah, there's a solo disc release for this film, so you don't necessarily have to, you know, watch on this collection really. I mean you could anyway, I guess, but you don't necessarily have to because this film is, is also on its own individual disc itself. If you're gonna purchase like that, it was gonna just purchase it on here, folks, and in, in this collection if you wish. I guess either way, it's 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 fine, I guess. Whatever, I suppose. Yeah. Those were definitely interesting times, folks. Yeah, sorry. Nope, oh, nostalgia trip. So anyway, folks. Anyway. <sighs> Got some drink. So yeah, folks. As I was saying with this movie, I did like the way it was edited, folks. It didn't come off choppy. Yes, it's cheaply made, of course. Just like a bunch of other movies I reviewed, it's cheaply made. It's obscured. But, I liked it anyway. I like reviewing old movies just to, you know, show it to people, I guess. And I say this one is definitely not that bad. No, sorry, folks. No, sorry. It's not that bad. New. No. Check it out. It would get an overall rating of a 6.5 out of 10. It gets a 6.5 out of 10 for me. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. Oh, yeah.